Uh, hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to uh, make a real simple uh, PyKey-T application where we just basically have a window um, with a single push button on it. So let's get started. To start off, you need to have installed uh, Python 2.7 um, as well as the PyKey-T4 library, so that's going to depend on... Uh, which operating system you're using. Uh, I'm using Ubuntu. I'll put some links in the description um, to some resources that explain how to install that uh, exact package. <clears throat> so the first way you want to start out uh, your Python script here. First let me save this just uh, real quick. Uh, made a folder there for it. Um, the first way, pretty much normally, I was going to want to start out your Python script is with this, uh, just a simple if statement, just to try to get you into the uh, main function. So, right here, um, if you weren't aware, first thing is uh, we're going to go through, when the interpreter is reading this, it's going to be going through line by line, waiting until it finds um, a line of code that's not declaring a function or another high level uh, structure. So this is going to be the first thing. Um, obviously, besides the imports, we'll put above. But um, and then we're in the namespace main. So it's going to enter into this if statement and call the main function right here. Um, and while I'm talking about import statements, we should probably import uh, sys. I believe we'll need and then import pyqt4. Um, <coughs> Then from PyQt4, I'm going to import, uh, do a radical import from everything in Qt Core and Qt GUI. Um, normally, that's just the way that I initialize these, uh, and it pretty much covers everything you're going to need in your uh, PyQt applications. Uh, all right. Don't actually think we need that. All right. So, in here, there's uh, three things you always need to do when you're creating a PyQt application. Uh, first thing is to create an instance of Q application. So, put that in here, and then you need to pass uh, parameters to the Q application to initialize it. Um, assuming it's probably like a name that the Q uh, PyQt in the back end applies to the class instance itself. So I always just pass uh, command line parameters to that. Um, the second thing we're going to need to do is create an actual instance of our uh, the class we're going to create that's going to maintain the entire window itself. Um, so I'll just put up a little small snippet of that here. So we'll create just call it main window for now. Uh, and then we'll create an instance of that, name it app window main window. Okay, so we're creating instance of main window. Alright, so, and then the last thing, just for a real simple Q application um, with a window, is that you're going to want to call this exact line right here. Um, which is telling uh, the Python interpreter to exit upon the actual exit of this app. And then the app basically is, acts as the parent for this uh, main window class that we're going to create. Um, because the actual uh, PyQt uh, widgets and or classes and applications and widgets and everything need a parent to run in. Um, in this case, we're going to be using this app as the parent. And then we're executing this app. And then as soon as that's done, we're going to exit from the Python interpreter. So, easiest way I think of uh, creating normally the uh, PyQt windows is just by creating an instance of Q widget. And when we do that, we also need to, or assuming you have any knowledge of Py or Python in general, you have to create a initializer function, um, which is the constructor for this actual class. Um, 
similar to what you would call in C or C++. This is just going to construct the variables and everything that you're going to be using in the class. In Python's case, it's not as uh, specific. You don't have to actually follow any of those rules, but you do have to create this initializer function, which is basically going to be called as soon as we're calling this line of code right here. It's going to immediately call this function. Um, so we'll pal pass uh, the actual instance of main window that we're creating as the parameter. Um, and then another thing, when you're creating a uh, PyQt uh, class, be it like a Q widget or Q main window um, or anything in general in PyQt, you need to call this exact line here. which um, you don't really need to worry about, but it's actually just initializing all of the uh, all the basic stuff behind the scenes in, in Python or er, in PyQt4. Um, and then normally what I do inside of these constructor classes is that I'll write or I'll call two functions. So normally I want to initialize initialize the uh, variables in the class that we're going to be using and then initialize the actual user interface. Um, in this case we're just creating a simple uh, window with a button so we don't really need, a, need to initialize any variables there. Um, and then so we can actually write this function here and then UI and once again we're passing the instance as a, as a variable. Um, some simple things we can do, we can set the window title and I'll make this my window title um, and just for a simple example we can resize the window show you how the resizing works make it 400 by 400 pixels um, and then like I said we'll just put in a single button so we can Let's name it my button, um, and then the actual widget we're going to be using from the uh, QGUI uh, sublibrary is uh, called Q push button, and then the, you can pass two parameters to a Q push button. The first one is just the label that goes inside of it, um, and all the stuff can be changed after the fact after you initialize it. But we'll just put in push me, and then the second thing we're going to pass is the actual instance of the class. So what this is going to do is this is going to place the button just in really an uninitialized location on the, on the uh, on the window. So in this case it's just going to be in the top left corner. It's not going to be aligned uh, nicely or anything. Just real simple. I'm not even using a layout in this case. I'll probably do another video on that after this. Um, show you how to align the button and there's various ways you can do it. You could use like my button dot move put it in a certain location with X, Y here, or you could use a layout, which is the way most people would probably do it. Um, but I'll get into that later in a later video. And then the last thing we need to do is just write self.show, so this is just going to open up the window um, and display it. So if we save this and try running it, we can see how it looks on the actual window. .py. Yep, and there we go. So it's real simple. Um, we can resize the window. It started out at 400 pixels. We can push this. It's not connected to anything. Not going to do anything yet. Um, like I said in a later video, I'll get to aligning this wherever you want, putting it in the center horizontally. Um, and I'll also show you how to connect this button to uh, signals and slots and functions in Python so that you can have the GUI be uh, actually able to perform a function rather than just being a simple example. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, feel free to subscribe if you want to stay tuned for my later videos. And that's it.